Welcome back. Uh, it's time to get interactive. <laughs> I hope, you're, I hope you're ready <laughs> to get yeah. interactive. I am ready. Are you? I'm ready to read your comment. My comments? Yes. I'm so not you... allowed to send a comment. Who said so? Well, I work here. So? So I can't send a comment. <laughs> Maybe that's so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hard work without pay for 26 months. Some not more officials are levied over the non-payment of their salaries. Quite a situation, huh? Anyway, we'll bring you more shortly. Retired doctors to the rescue as government raises against time to get doctors in the country back to their health post. Any updates on the Dumsa situation in your area? Maybe you should check out the Dumsa report. Rage ministries cantonments that surround the american embassy that's correct and botiano these are the four like areas that i enjoyed most these are the ones going to the champion league champions league the champions and these are the ones going to relegation right the relegation okay. and the relegation is abelengbe uh, abelengbe madina, madina and choco and, choco. <laughs> and tell you what the national service secretariat is at it again more than a thousand service personnel to direct traffic you're welcome to your most interactive hava on TV. Uh, does join us interactive? And my name is Patricia. On this show, you can get to be part of all the talk. You can tell us what you would like us to discuss by taking a short video or pictures of an issue of concern and send it to us. You can send it via our Facebook page and we'll gladly share it with the rest of the world. It's facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. On Twitter, you can find us using join news on TV as well or use the hashtag JN Interactive GH. Our email address is joinusim at multitvworld.com and our WhatsApp line is 0560-800,000. Staff of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, have been picketing at Finance Ministry and the Controller and Accountant General's Department this afternoon. Their reason, quite simple actually, they haven't been paid for the past 26 months. Boy, that's a long time to work without pay. I don't know how it uh, will happen to me if I, I should be in their shoes. Well, the workers say they had to resort to this option after management refused to hit to their persistent complaint. <laughs> Because of this issue, someone was arrested, huh? put behind bars for just thousand dollars, thousand dollars, and today he has to report that because of police issue, he's not here. And you are saying we should take it calmly. You have to pay me. Those people, we don't trust them. Even when our leaders came out, they are trying to, they were trying to sugarcoat the, what the leaders should say. It won't happen that way. At the end of this month, we'll get our money. If not, we are not going to agree to anything. We are tired. I mean, we've been, we've been patient for how long? We can't hold it anymore. Yeah, tia bread, please, so that you, Chile, we have worked for it. We need our money to survive, please. We have kids, we have families. Come on. Well, last, some... last week, Friday, something just happened. Our police oh, come on. Please, what is, what is? We are, we are Ghanaians, we are not foreigners, please. Right now, a colleague of mine, he borrowed 1,000 Ghana City to rent uh, his, uh, his apartment in, his, in, uh, in the district. Now he has been arrested because of, he borrowed the money because of Nadmo, 1,000 cities. Now, now, as I'm speaking now, he's, uh, he's in the cell. Please, we need our money. We have worked for 26 months now, no salary. Why? Please, we have worked for it. We are not begging them. I'm begging, oh, please. I'm begging Mr. President, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. Please, he's our father. Please, he should come in, into this issue and help us. Please, please, our father, we are helping, we are, we are begging you. His Excellency, please.
Okay, let's go on to Facebook now and check out some of your comment on this. And, okay. Haruna is saying, Oyiwa, nothing is going on right in Ghana under Mahama. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. Every other sector apart from the presidency is in crisis. Charles is saying, this thing about unpaid salaries and arrears is becoming every day, is becoming an everyday event. Oh, what's the government doing? Lottie is saying, so Ghana government and controller, they owe everyone for this country inside, eh? Outgoing service personnel will soon pop out. <laughs> Kamal is saying, it seems like Nadmo also wants to join the strike association of governments that sag like the treacherous doctors it is because of Mahama's mismanagement that has created a tendency for the so-called nadmo to act inactive in the country goodness wow kwacha is saying i'm telling you 85 percent of aggrieved workers are <laughs> ndc members they've not seen they've not seen nothing yet we Okay, he has money to buy land and mansions in Dubai, putting the plight of Ghanaians behind him. Amandi, how do you expect people to survive when they have not been paid for 26 months? Why is this not affecting ministers and their deputies? Does it mean that some people are superior to others? More strikes will come because 2014 year badge of teachers have not <laughs> yet been upgraded since first september 2014. okay uh this is okay lottie again what a government so all the plenty taxes you've introduced you use them to enrich yourself at the top leaving us below vulnerable i'm very disappointed in this government okay Moving on, doctors belonging to the Ghana Medical Association are holding the line to resign and months after Friday, 14th August 2015, if demands for their conditions of service are not sorted out. Should they carry through their threat, it means that at least 20,000 doctors will leave the public service. Fearing the worst, fearing the worst, government has announced bold plans to recruit retired medical doctors to replace striking members of the Ghana Medical Association pending the outcome of negotiation. So are patients relieved by this information? And does that mean anything to the striking doctors? My colleague Matilda Wamega visited the Ridge Hospital here in Accra and interacted with some patients and doctors. I came from the Ghana Hospital on referral. Mm -hmm. to reach us with so. mm. Over this period, what can you say of the services that has been rendered to you so far? The services were okay. The doctors were at post when I got here. So I came within a follow period that I was able to sneak through. Uh -huh. But subsequently, I think they started rolling up their threats. Mm -hmm. They started manifesting and then people were being turned away and all that. Mm. So far, finally, what do you make of the doctor strike in general? The doctor strike, in as much as I may, I may sympathize or empathize with them, I mean, they should also consider the human aspect of their life. You know, when they go on strike and if somebody dies, there's no way any money will bring the persons back. Uh -huh. So whether government is ready to go outside budget or whatever, I mean, they should just consider the human life. Kafa doctors, no more how much age man? Eh, how many? Say, me a kasa me. Say, doctor, no idea. Say, eh, yeah. Eh, say, doctor, they be our mumba and our best friend. Ipa. A true author told we realized that the doctors here at post and seeing to inpatients and emergency cases. Uh, the doctors tell me between last night and this morning they are still attending to emergency cases and do not have plans of closing down their emergency unit. For join us, Matilda Vomaga Reg Hospital. Hospital. So what do you out there also think about this and will this stop the doctors from resigning? Here are some of your comments on Facebook. I'll start with um, Billy. Let them resign and join the politicians since they are comparing their salaries to them. It will even create a space for employment. Kamal is saying, for the moment, 
He has given us a redemption song, but NDC should stop bragging and laying insult on doctors because they are the nemesis cause of their mismanagement. The NPP should also stop using this situation as partisan if they don't have anything to say to Ghanaians. Politici politicians will not kill us before our end of time. Kamal, this is ridiculous. Where is the strength of them to where is the strength for them to work? Do they still have the knowledge and holistic skills to work? Chale, job for the boys has now turned to job for the old. <laughs> Junior is saying, why am I sensing that this government always loves the short-term measures? Please fix the problems and stop this knee-jerk pressure. Lottie is saying, now that GMA has decided to beat retreat and return to work after Friday, should we give them half of their salary for this month? Okay, um, I'll now go on to WhatsApp and see what comment you so far okay this is some some Ghanaian workers have become money conscious hey doctors after all this benefit you are on strike <laughs> assemble and this is from Christian and same P okay uh, Daniel from Wa. in fact it's easy for the medical doctors Okay, uh, then this is from um, Osei Kofi. Go to the president for your money and make us think. NDC foot soldiers. <laughs> this is from Kofo. Okay, moving on, let's talk about Doomso now. And I know for some of you, the situation must have improved over the past few weeks or so, but others really don't seem to be enjoying so much power. But have you even ever wondered how much power you enjoy as against how much you were really entitled to? You should probably check out the Doomsa Report. My colleague Gifty Andorpia has been interacting with Kobina Edu, the author of the Doomsa Report. <laughs> This is the Doomsol League table. Right. Okay, so we have a number of hours of power. Uh, that's on April 28, May? To May 11. Uh, to, to, to May 11, okay. Yes. And so, yeah, even though I said the average is 57%, mm -hmm. there's a huge discrepancy. Okay. And actually, there are three aspects of Doomsol. Mm -hmm. There's a shortage, which we all know about. Yeah. There's uncertainty, which we all feel. But then, what really opened our eyes was the inequality. Inequality. Because if you look at this, uh, rich at the top, for instance, had 328.59 hours out of 336 hours uh, for the period. Okay. That was 98%. Okay. On the bottom, Choco had 103 hours, which was wow. barely 31%. Right. And all the ones in the middle. So we have rage, ministries, cantonment that's around the American embassy. That's right. And Botiano. Yes. Um, uh, okay, so these are the four, like if you like, uh, if you like the four uh, areas that I enjoyed most. These are the ones going to the Champions League. The Champions League. The Champions And these are the ones going to relegation, right? <laughs> the relegation. Okay. And the relegation is Abelengbe, uh, Abelengbe Madina, Madina, and Choco. And Choco. Right? So basically, um, first, we don't have enough data mm -hmm. to make any conclusions about um, a link between amount of power and affluence or influence. Mm -hmm. um, the top three are quite instructive. Right. Uh, because we all know where those areas are. Mm -hmm. And even more disturbing for me as a Ghanaian, the many ministries? foreigners, where the foreigners tend to live, okay, turns out more But, but, but if, the, if the foreigners are paying, are paying for the power they receive, then well, that's fine. One theory out there, by uh, which Dr. Rukubi actually suggested, is that ECG just sends electricity where they think they'll get paid. Mm -hmm. But all that doesn't matter because there's a schedule. And we base all this on the last published schedule, which was February 2015. And from that schedule, there were three groups. Mm -hmm. A, B, C, who were supposed to receive a certain amount of electricity. Mm -hmm. And it's on that that we hold uh, ECG from this schedule. So, so at, at, at the end of the day, what do we intend to achieve with this report or with this research? Well, first of all, I would say that um, we can't fix shortage overnight, mm -hmm. um, but we can definitely fix the uncertainty and the inequality overnight. Okay. And one insight that I got from doing this was that in the periods when we have half power, um, it might make more sense if it's technically feasible to do it four hours on, four hours off. Mm -hmm. So that on any given day, you know at least you can work for a certain period of time. Okay. 
We'll be taking your comments on the Doomsday League table and in which parameters your area falls right after this break. <music> And welcome back. Now let's take some comment on uh, Facebook. I'll start with uh, Papa B. We are experiencing Dumsa in Koko and in Yenem. I mean, in the eastern region. As the old news, Dada, Dada Noa, no change. Okay. Um, Rich is saying, I'm even in Dumsa right now at East Legon. Raymond, in the Bonohafo region, that's the capital of Bonohafo, Sunyane. Doomso is a thing of the past. Okay, that's good for you. Kweku, interestingly, I've had lights for two weeks. Amazing. This is what I am used to and not Doomso. Eric is saying, for the past two months, Doomso never hit my town, my area. Okay, it's good for some people and others are still suffering. And on to Lottie is saying, President John Germani Mahama has in another reassurance message and a commitment to fix the worsening power crisis told Ghanaian workers at the celebration of the 2015 May Day. Okay. Um, May Day crisis. Okay. Let me just go to WhatsApp. This is from uh, Christian. He's saying, Nadmo just joined the striking team in Ghana. Now strikes are normal. Mahama can go for retired Nadmo workers. And this is saying, Chia, Doom so is just fed up at this minute. Today, Doom, tomorrow, so I pray it reduces in the next semester. Oh, we are suffering. Okay, moving on now, let's talk about the National Service Secretariat. Remember all the noise a couple of years ago when the Secretariat decided to deploy some service personnel to direct traffic? Well, guess what? All the talk at the time may have worked but the move is definitely materializing this time around a total of 1000 service personnel have been drafted into a new model that will see them deployed onto the street to help manage traffic whereas they are already undergoing a two-week intensive training at the ghana police training school here in accra now let's get some more on this now and we'll be speaking with ambus Entua. Entia it is the public relations office of the National Service Secretariat. Good evening, I'm Bruce. Yeah, good evening. Um, welcome to JN Interactive. Thank you. Uh, first, I want to find out why this again? I thought we were over this. Um, the traffic model? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, first of all, the National Service team operates under an act of parliament and fourteen states. If you look at section three of the act, it gives the power to the board of the National Service team to deploy national service personnel to a number of areas. Okay. Now among them the board has the power to explore new areas where service personnel will be posted in accordance with changing needs of the society. Now, that's when you realize that the urban traffic situation is becoming overwhelming in the cities, especially Accra and Kumasi. So, when the team has decided is to pilot this program, now with the approval of the board, we introduce these two new models. I'm talking of the urban traffic management and urban waste management. Okay. Now, in the enrollment process, we ask national service personnel to choose a number of areas where they would wish to be posted. And we had over 3,000 people choosing the urban traffic management model. Now, in accordance with this, we went further to do the deployment. And we selected the first 1,000 to deploy them to Accra. Accra will have 600 and Kumato will have 400. And that is what we did. And all these things have been done in collaboration with the Ghana police. Okay. I'm about NTTU. Okay, so, so what 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 really went into the selection of these particular persons that have been drafted to help manage traffic? Did you by any chance look at the courses they took while in the university? No, no. We I think indicated that we gave the service personnel the option, the opportunity to choose 
where they will wish to be posted. Now, let us understand that the courses that people offer at the universities serve as guide to our posting processes. They do not necessarily mean that people will have to be posted specifically to areas of their profession or areas of their study. Okay, so now... So you realize that, tell me, What's going to be different this time around, seeing that you have already failed to roll out this out these once? These individuals are going to be trained. They are already in the training center and the police training depot in a okay. crisis and all. They are going to be taken through two weeks of intensive training, both physically and uh, mentally and theoretically. Okay, and so after that, they will support the police and TTU in managing traffic in Accra and Kumasi. What is important is that these uh, young people will not be allowed to do these things alone. They will be under strict supervision of okay. professional policemen to guide them to do this. Okay. But it's important for us to also understand that we are exposing the young people to other areas in the society which is the unknown. Okay, so that before, be, be, okay, before I let you go, we are also told the Secretariat has reviewed its position on making changes to posting on health grounds. How true is this and what informed this decision? Yeah, that is also true. Uh, what, is, what is happening is that because we usually will allow some change of posting on health grounds, some individuals have taken on due advantage of that. And because they do not want to access postings to certain places, all they do is to count around and get a place and get a letter uh, from a medical facility and bring it and say that oh, I'm suffering from this sickness or that sickness and therefore take my post. My sister, how can anybody, for instance, who is posted to Amasaman okay. in this background come with a medical report that because of his, uh, of his or his sickness, he or she cannot go to Amasaman and therefore oh. you have gotten a letter from a company in Tema? Mm -hmm. What is what is what is but, this one? Uh, that uh, but, but, Mr. Entio, we, we are far behind and I would like to leave the conversation. Thank you so much for your time on Johnny's Interactive. And that was um, Mr. Ambus Entio. Moving on, I want to take some last comment um, from WhatsApp. And this is from Christian again. He's a hey, university student directing traffic. Abba. As countries are going technology, Ghana is still going manual. Why? And... Daniel from Wa, okay. Asemo Ghana, National Service Personnel, are they also retired workers? Now, Ghana is retired workers everywhere. Oh, okay, let me take some, just one comment, and I'll take that of Nanama. What then will be the work of the police? I guess the police will be assisting them, right? Eh, eh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the police will be assisting them in, in, to, to be directing the traffic. And the, the, the national service people will yeah, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but this is not new, is it? Yeah, there was. Okay. Okay, I wish it was Friday today. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that will be it for Johnny's Interactive. And my name is Patricia Gasu. And mine, Stephen Enti. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Bye bye. <laughs>